Hey Siri, clean my data. Cellular data is on. Let me know if you want to turn it off. Alexa, can you clean my data? Here's something I found on the web. According to worldbank.org, the first step in cleaning the data is to import the data. <laughs> Hi, I'm Professor Joe Hellerstein. Welcome back to the Data School. Do you have some data you want to clean up? Do you think AI can help? Let's talk. Here's one thing we do know. Traditional data transformation interfaces are incredibly tedious to work with. Asking people to write complex code or work with IT power tools to clean up their data. And as my robot friends here have showed us, it's not as if AI is going to come in and just take the problem off of our hands. There's got to be something in between Siri clean my data and a 600 line Python script that'll help us with this problem. The future of data wrangling is getting people AI, and data processing engines working together. Getting that right? Well, that's the trifecta. The first trick is to pick a medium where the human intelligence and the artificial intelligence can communicate. Speech? That's probably not the ticket for data wrangling. We want a medium that is natural for people to immerse themselves in their data, and the obvious medium there is the visual medium. Things like spreadsheets and dashboards are familiar to users for getting their eyeballs on data. And by pointing at that, you're giving hints to the artificial intelligence about what interests you, and it can come back with predictions and suggestions for what you might want to do. Even in that environment, the human ambiguity can be tricky. When somebody points at a little piece of data that's in a spreadsheet, what is their intent? They may not even know themselves because they're exploring the data. So you have to work with the software to try to tease out what's in the user's mind based on what they're pointing at. We call this the guide decide loop. Let's have a look at how that works. When the user makes a gesture in the interface, they're providing human guidance about an interesting or troubling feature in the data. For example, here the user is highlighting examples of stock symbols. Based on the guidance, a recommendation engine can use AI to provide a ranked list of suggestions for what the user might want. And critically, for each suggestion, the engine shows a visual preview of the outcome of the suggestion. For example, here, the first suggestion is for the user to pull out the first string of capital letters from the finance news. And that does a great job of extracting the stock symbols. Cool. But maybe the user wants to pull out all the strings of capital letters from the text to catch all the stock symbols mentioned. Great. Let's watch the instant replay. Notice a few things here. The user guides the algorithms to interesting features. This is super lightweight. With just a gesture or two, the user helps ensure the AI can be on task and focused. In return for their gestures, the user gets rich feedback to help decide what's the best next step. Notice how feedback comes in the visual domain. And to ensure clarity, it's also translated to a high level natural language recipe step to document what's being suggested. This recipe serves as a history of the user's decisions. Users can go through an iteration of this guide decide loop in seconds and see what they get. And then they can do another step or undo the last step. This encourages exploration, discovery, play. This is the kind of agility needed for creative work. The visual guide decide loop allows the user to give indications of what interests them, the AI to give suggestions, and then the user to make decisions all in the visual domain. But what happens when the AI is not perfect? That's the point where a little traditional user experience comes into play. In Trifecta's predictive interaction, every recipe step is editable with a dialogue to tweak it. The dialogue is pre-populated with AI suggestions, but everything can be overwritten. Even the input widgets benefit from AI for suggestions and type ahead. So now we've got a clear idea of how we can mesh AI guidance with human interaction to transform our data. But can this work on data sets that are at billions of records living in the cloud? Join us in our next video and we'll find out more.